Let's take a look at dividing fractions. The good news about dividing fractions is that we already know how to do it if we have learned how to multiply fractions. A quick way to divide fractions is to turn the second fraction upside down and multiply instead. So one half divided by three quarters becomes one half times four thirds. The first fraction stays the way it is, the second one turns upside down, and we turn a divided by sign into a multiply sign. Now, since we already know how to multiply, this is easy. 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and all that's left is to give our answer in its most simplified form. This fraction can be reduced, so I'll do it. Since both top and bottom have a common factor of 2, I will divide both top and bottom by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. The answer to the division, 1 half divided by 3 quarters, is 2 thirds. Let's look at this one. 7 thirds divided by 1 third. I keep the first fraction the same. I multiply instead, and I turn the second fraction upside down. Now this can be simplified with cancelling, but that's a subject for another video. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply these. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3. 21 and 3 have a common factor of 3. So I'll divide both of them by 3 to reduce my answer. And I get 7 over 1, which is equal to the whole number 7. Here we have two mixed numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions because that makes the division easier. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3, so this becomes 3 halves. 1 and a half is equivalent to 3 halves. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. The second fraction becomes 9 quarters. Now I have 3 halves divided by 9 quarters. It's time to turn the second fraction upside down. I multiply instead, and 9 quarters turns into 4 ninths. And now, again, I'm not cancelling. I'm going to do it straightforward. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 9 is 18. I have 12 eighteenths, which can be reduced because 12 and 18 have a common factor of 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 18 divided by 6 is 3. I have two-thirds as my final answer. Here's another one which has only one mixed number. 3 and a third can be converted into an improper fraction. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. It becomes 10 thirds. I multiply instead, and 5 6 turns upside down and becomes 6 fifths. 10 times 6 is 60. 3 times 5 is 15. 60 and 15 have a common factor of 15, so I'm going to divide both top and bottom by 15. 60 divided by 15 is 4. 15 divided by 15 is 1. My final answer is 4 over 1, which is equal to 4. So when we divide fractions, there's nothing really new here if we already know how to multiply fractions. We might have to convert improper fractions into mixed numbers, or mixed numbers into improper fractions, those skills can come in handy. And we have to know how to multiply fractions. But learning how to divide fractions simply means learning how to turn the second fraction upside down and multiply instead.